In this video, I'm going to show you a couple options and levels that I've called them to get you started on live stream setups. Hello, my name is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary, a resource that people can use for small church technology solutions. And I want to show you a couple options to get your church started. And most of the churches I deal with are smaller churches to get them started on a live stream setup. On the screen right now, you can see what I've called level two. Now, what we need to do is we need to take a couple elements and put them all together to be able to live stream. And to be able to do this for a permanent solution in your church, you're going to need number one, a camera, and then you're going to need a video capture device. And we're going to that's going to take it into the computer. And so we're going to take HDMI into the video capture card. And that's going to translate it to the computer by USB. And then we're going to take the out from your soundboard and we're going to get our audio separately from the mix on the soundboard. And we're going to go to what we call audio interface that is going to take that quarter inch to XLR to our audio interface. And then our audio interface is going to interpret that for our computer and take it in via USB. Then we're going to use our computer that at least needs to have an i5 processor and about eight gigs of RAM is what I would suggest. And so we're going to take that into the computer. And the next thing we're going to need is software. There are several softwares out there. There's OBS, Open Broadcast Software, which is free. There is a little learning curve on that. And there's also other paid for softwares that you can use, such as vMix and others that are available as a one time purchase. And then they have some subscription-based programs, such as StreamYard, which I'm using to make this video right now. And that is going to allow you to use the software to send and upload your live stream to the internet, to Facebook, YouTube, or your website, or another location. And what's going to change on these different levels that we have, we see level two, we're going to use a Canon camcorder link for all this equipment is in the description below and this camcorder runs about 250 dollars on amazon it is a very good quality camcorder it has what we call a clean hdmi out next when we go to level three and then level four the only thing that's going to change in this entire setup is the camera so number one you have the option to use a canon camcorder which is going to run you about $250 on Amazon. It's going to be the same setup. And then as we go to level three, the difference is we have changed the camera. The same will be true of level number four. Now we've upgraded the camera and that's basically where most of your cost is going to be is in the camera. And right here we have a DSLR Canon EOS Rebel SL2, which is actually the DSLR camera that I'm using to record my videos for my YouTube channel. And we're taking that into a video capture device. This could also double for your church as a photography camera and then be used also for live streams. That takes us to level number four. And this is with the PTZ camera, which stands for point tilt zoom. And PT Optics has created a little robotic camera that can be used that we could bypass the video capture card which these cameras allow you to point and tilt and zoom and take away the fact that you have to go and turn them on each and every time you get ready to do a video. Goal is to be able to get the video into the computer through one means and then to bring the audio from the soundboard into the audio interface and then into your computer, then to your software, whether it be free or a software purchase or a subscription-based program, and then we're going to be able to upload to live. Each of these levels are going to get you where you need to go when it comes to small church live stream setups. The big difference is, and the money maker is where we switch the cameras, whether we go with the Canon $250 camcorder, which will do a fine job in small church setups, or that we upgrade to a DSLR camera to double it as a photography camera in our church, as well as using it for live streams, or if we upgrade to the PTZ point tilt zoom optics camera that could be used if there's a distance issue. It just depends on the quality in which you want to record in 
and the, the quality of the stream. The audio is the easy part, in my opinion. The video gets a little bit more complicated depending on your setup. And remember, if you need any help or you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to follow up. And if you found value out of this video and it was helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up and then leave me a comment below. That will help me in supporting my channel. And until next time, this is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary.